everyone, it's Erin from Digital Photography for Moms. In this video, I'm going to show you the quickest way to get a large number of photos out of Lightroom and exported so that you can upload them to a print lab. So in my blog post that accompanies this video, you'll know that I printed a collage with about 70 photos in it last week. And I want to show you the technique that I use for sorting through a large number of photos quickly. Now you can do this for a given time period or a given file name or keyword. So the same strategy would work whether you are trying to export a number of photos from the past year or maybe all of the photos with a person's name in the keyword. So the first thing I do is over here, I'm in the Lightroom library module and I've typed the letter G to bring me to the grid view where I see multiple pictures at once. On the right side over here, I wanna make sure that all photographs is selected. And then I want to make sure that my filter bar is visible up here. If the filter bar isn't visible, use the slash key that is above the enter key on your keyboard. And I want to sort by date. So I'm making a collage of all the photos from the past 10 months or so. So for that, I'm going to use metadata. Now you could also use the text field. And if you were going to filter by text, you would use any searchable field. And that way you could put someone's name if you've used them as a keyword, or you could use another keyword, like maybe first day of school, and that would pull up all the first day of school photos from all the prior years. So you've got a lot of flexibility. However, because I'm using date, I want to select the metadata filter option. And then I just so happen to have date as my first column over here on the left. Now, if you don't see date, you can actually click on any of these little double headed arrows and select from the different filtering options. So on date, I am going to scroll all the way down to October of 2015 because that's the first month that I want to look for good photos from. And I want to go through today essentially. So holding down my shift key, I click on October and then I click on 2016. And so that's going to get everything starting in October and ending today. And you can see that I have about 7,600 photos that I've taken in the past 10 months or so. Now the next thing I'm going to do, because I really don't wanna look at all 7,600, is go to the attribute filter and make sure that my white flag is pressed. Now I use the white flag or the black flag every time I import photos. The photos I love get a white flag, or the photos that I think I might be able to do something with get a white flag. The photos that I don't want to keep get a black flag. So the white flag is going to be important. Now the next thing I'll do is just scroll through. So you see that I have whittled down the selection from 7600 to 882. That's a lot more manageable. The next thing I'm going to do is find the first picture that I want to print, and I do like this one. And I'm going to go over here to the keywording panel, and I'm going to think of a new unique keyword. So for this, I think I'm going to type um, print lab export August of 2016. And then I'll hit the enter key. Now, after you have applied a keyword, I find that it's most useful to hit the escape key on your keyboard because you can see that my cursor is still here in the keyword field. And so if I were to type any shortcuts, um, I would actually start typing a keyword. That's not, I want, not what I want. So I'm going to go ahead and hit escape to deactivate that field. And then I'm just going to quickly scroll through these pictures looking for my favorites. So this photo is another one that I want to print, so I'm going to click on it to select it, and I'm going to type the first few letters of my keyword, and I will hit the Enter key to apply, and then Escape. Um, another thing I can do here, so sometimes it will give me keyword su suggestions, um, but once I've typed this, I am going to type Command or Control A to select all of that keyword, and then Command or Control C to copy it. And now I can just paste it onto each photo that I want to print. 
And now I'm just going to continue going through these photos. I kind of remember the ones that I like especially, um, the ones that I want to print. And so I'm just going to click in the keyword field. I'm going to press Command or Control V to paste, and then I'll hit Enter and Escape. And I will go through until I find my favorite photos. Now, there just happened to be two right in a row that I'd like to print, so I can select both of those. Type Command or Control V and then Escape. And I've got both of them keyworded now. Now you can see here as I'm scrolling that I've got some client shoots that are appearing, um, things that aren't family related. Now some people keyword each photo they take with either professional or private. And that would be a real time saver here because I could filter out all of the professional photo shoots that I did. But really it's not taking me too much longer to just scroll through everything that I've done. Okay, so once I have finished adding all of the keywords to the photos that I want to print, I will go back up here to text and then using this keyword or any searchable field uh, filter box, I will type in this new keyword, Print Lab Exports, and I don't even have to finish typing it, they automatically appear. So you will have as many photos appearing right here as you actually want to print. So once I've got the photos all filtered out here that I want to print, I'm going to type Command or Control A to select all of them. And then once I've got them all selected, I can click on Export down there in the lower left-hand corner and configure the location and the files that I want to create. So I am going to create a specific folder here, and I'm just going to go to um, my external hard drive within photos, I'm going to select choose. And then I am going to create a subfolder called print lab export August 2016. And then I'm going to rename the files. And again, I will just call them to be printed or something like that. Now the image format, I do want to be JPEG. So this part is important. When we are sending images to a print lab, we want them to be exported at the highest quality possible. Um, so we're going to select JPEG, JPEG because that's what is compatible with most labs. And we want the color space to be sRGB. We also want the quality to be 100% going to make sure that the files are not being resized and I am not going to change this resolution. The only time I would change the resolution is if I wanted to degrade the quality, make those file sizes smaller. But because I have selected 100% right here, that means that the resolution field is really irrelevant. Also, because I'm not resizing, that's another reason that Lightroom is just going to ignore whatever is here in this resolution box. Um, so again, when I am printing to a print lab, I always select quality of 100 and I turn off resize and I ignore the resolution field. Output sharpening, I usually select for um, matte paper standard uh, because I usually do print on matte paper. Notice that there is an option for glossy if that's the way you like to print. I turn off my watermark and that is it. I am going to select export after I point out one last thing. So I want to point out this add to catalog field. I'm going to go ahead and check it because I want to be able to see these exports within Lightroom and really there's only one reason why that is helpful to me. I don't need these files to be stored on my hard drive forever. I'm just going to put them on the hard drive temporarily so that I can upload them to the print lab. After that, I'm going to turn around and delete them immediately. So because these files will be visible within Lightroom, it's going to be really easy for me to delete them. I won't need to go search for um, the location on my external hard drive where I've stored them. So this is up to you, but for me, this is the method that works. I'll select export and you can see that we get the progress bar up here. 
And now that my export has completed, you can see here in my catalog panel, I can just select on added by previous export. And I can see these images right here. Now I want to delete the entire folder that I put the images in. So I'm going to right click and say, go to folder and library. I'm going to select all of the photos by command or control A. I am going to right click on any of the photos to select remove photos and delete from disk. And then this is a two, two part procedure. So I've deleted the photos and now I can go back and just remove the folder. So again, I'm right clicking on the folder and selecting remove. And now my hard drive is all cleaned up again. So that's the quickest way that I've found to get a wide variety of photos out of Lightroom and upload it to my print lab quickly. If you have any questions at all, come back to my blog post and leave a comment. I'd be happy to help. Thanks so much for watching and have a good day.